December the 25th, 2021 it is today. Uh, listen up, uh, I did publish some news in respect to American natives just yesterday I did, two days ago I did, I don't know, I have to see that right now I'm going to go over. And it does pertains, and it still will, I still regard now adult women, no longer girl, Kwana Chase Horse Potts. American native, um, I'm not going to say apprentice of uh, Elizabeth Warren, this, this is not a uh, proper term for me to use. This is just a beautiful, now young woman of American native origins that is standing up obligated herself and I don't want to push Elizabeth Warren back backwards neither also she has some explanations to do and that's why this video today uh, I just want to clarify this stuff when I wrote okay let me demonstrate to you this when I when I wrote this stuff here When I wrote about this stuff here, I was uh, not this one here. This I am going to continue, Quan. I I like you. I see myself in a nature. I will all explain all about it. Okay. This is this is someone I do see myself in because especially I love nature, and since I was child. I admired Indians. I I had this passion for two things. Uh, I uh, I read a lot of this Western stuff when I was a child. Quite unusual here in Slovenia, but they used to have this magazines. They would sell in uh, trafikas, in traffic stores, little traffic stores, and. Uh, my friends would have a lot of that stuff, and uh, I was just uh, going mountains, reading about American Indians and stuff like that, dreaming about going to America a lot because of Indians. Uh, and this is not a proper term I'm using, American natives. Okay, because of this here, let's say. Uh, and so, it was the second article that I have more problem with, Kwana chasing horse and family and friends involved in my case since 97, 98. <clears throat> it's basically it's like this. There were two families uh, that traveled to Mongolia. Two. Uh, two American natives families that traveled to Mongolia. The first family that traveled to Mongolia traveled to Mongolia already uh, like I think like in 98 or 99 something like this and uh, left me traumatized severely uh, it most almost 100% certain I am were accompanied by Elizabeth Warren and some other American Democrats on opportunity that was at least 99, year 99. They stated me that they are on a hideout. They run from United States of America because of me. Um, I don't know how much you have noticed, but Kwana loves a nature. Okay. Uh, the people who participated in MK Ultra, at times they had me tied on a rope whenever they led me near rivers, streams, and stuff like this, because I had a habit to just wander away and go in inside of these streams and look for the fish and investigate everything, because I, I have a super passion for nature. I am a registered fisherman in Slovenia since age four. Now, age four. Um, 
my biggest passion was a nature in my life. That was something very common I have with Kwana and American Indians, whose case in respect to me, I have completely wrongly regarded one here on this page. I was totally, totally mistaken here about this stuff here, in respect to Kwana. Uh, her family, 97, 98, no, 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 no. Um, it all started, in my case, with American Indians. It all started in Canada. It all started in Canada. It all started in New Scotia area with American Indians, with Northern American Indians. Uh, New Brunswick. This was the area where it all started. Uh, with Indians in up from Ottawa, Toronto area. This is where it all started with American Indians. And guess what? The one who had a filthy plan against me through the Indians that decided would get me killed no matter what, destroyed no matter what, was no other than Buckingham Palace. Canada is controlled by the Buckingham Palace, by the London, by the Londonish royals. And so in 97, Prince Charles started to engage in a genocide against me in Canada already through a local Indian tribes whom he corrupted, whom he incited in war against me. He would go and just pick females that randomly that would not be appealing and demanded from me to express feelings, marriage, intentions for them and that kind of stuff. Uh, and as I wouldn't, it would be one thing that would lead into another in, in conflict. This conflict would broaden. They got friends more and more, and this friends just happens to be also across the border in the United States of America, where Prince Charles pushed forward against me genocide, literally through American natives, through the Indians. Uh, American government, however, caught them, abusing me, engaging against me on psychological, physical abuse throughout the U.S. Bill Clinton was the president in 95. It all started under Bill Clinton. It might have been even earlier, actually. It might have even gone to year 96. And they decided, what better way than this, internationally, the rightful owners of Northern American continent are actually American natives, Indians. Caught them in act, and I don't like using this, caught them in act, because you're talking about minority, as I stated, that is the only native to this very continent and they were decimated through the genocide. They were decimated through the British, through the Britons, through Anglos, through Germans, decimated close to nothing. Through Germans, they decimated into almost nothing. My case started under American Democrats. It was American Democrats that handled all this. Then, not because they would want to help me or whatever, but the Republicans who also was, were involved all along uh, were raising in front of me, you know, in front of me their voice, like in protest how they treat me, that they're gonna, uh, they're gonna just, in Slovenian language, say, get involved to save me, to bail me out, they're going to be on my side, and this and that. The thing is that they inserted in the MKUltra heavy Nazi brainwash, 
Republicans you're talking about. Republicans push into Nazism. So that they could gesture later on, since they couldn't bail me out, that it would be Democrats that they just have to handle my case. You understand? That I have to go. So it was like a hot potato that would go from one hand to the other. This is how they do it. They blame one another and they murder a person. Consequently, this shit lasts already for this struggle for life lasts already for 27 years. In between, they got Indians. This is nobody they didn't get. They got people from Hollywood, famous people. This is the first they got a hold of it so that you can't say. So, if you would say against one person, maybe two people, maybe three people, maybe, but you're talking about 50, 100, 1,000, 10,000 people known personalities known in this stuff on American continent alone that's very difficult because everybody see himself as I was told brainwashed to see us in someone so this is like a mega crime Donald Trump produced not Donald Trump but the whole US government Donald Trump couldn't do anything without having a support or was perhaps even incited in by the US government as I stated Bill Clinton George Bush was the one who replaced him and it was then Obama who came and it was then Biden who came and these people had two terms they served 27 years of struggle to stay alive under this presidents these are the main people to blame for this case and they are Republicans and they are Democrats and Democrats and Republicans it makes no difference they are in agreement to kill with one another Indians just American natives to be proper and I am obligated to expanding my relationship in the future with these people something George Bush doesn't like at all because of the pipelines because of my concern for nature they had a big problem with me I was not a good material um, despite the mistreatment of some of these American natives I kept finding way to them uh, in real time especially I I would always find a way to them uh, somehow they involved in Florida also this is this this case is more than horrific remember I'm not even American native I got American citizenship in year 2000 in year 2000 that's like um, when I was 29 years old I became an American citizen I came to the US when I was 23 years old let me demonstrate to you here then you have here you have on the Florida you have this Okeechobee you have this okay this is this is case that is without presidents this is this is the most disgusting Okeechobee this here this you have Indians here uh, Florida natives uh, American natives um, listen uh, they built them casinos for exchange for crime against me you're talking about American natives Indians now in front of international society who the fuck is gonna go and say hey you know what I mean these are people that are the only natives to northern American continent this is how far Buckingham Palace have gone beatings abuse American natives did on me and possibly even more in exchange for casinos land all over the United States of America to degree that one of them who became like multi-millionaire no 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 more than multi-millionaire couldn't sleep no more at night let me demonstrate to you This is the guy 
a half Serb, a half Slovenian, whose godfather is Chetnik, is a Serbian Chetnik, Aleksandar Vucic. This is the guy that financed Chetnik state and engaged probably in, 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 two, in numerous crime against me. This guy committed stuff that he, once he was caught by Slovenian state, he was ambushed. He would take me from dot to dot all over Slovenia, wherever he would know, engage in sexual orgies and in physical abuse, beatings, psychological abuse. The same thing happened with this American native millionaire. He went insane. He couldn't take it no more. And this picture here, did you see him with the belly? He claimed that he got this belly because of me, because of the worries, because of that I took peace away from him, that he couldn't sleep no more. He, according to his own words, went mad. I, um, I was in distress. I was in distress because I did express very young involved in MK Ultra Quana chasing horse pots. Very young involved in it. Disinterest for her. I didn't want to have anything to do with this American Indians, whatever, under MK Ultra. What the hell this had to do with it? Uh, it did. It did. It, it, it had to do with it because of even, I would say, complexion of the skin. It did. When I was brought to Serbia in a Chetnik state that fought extermination war against several countries, previously republics, Yugoslav republics, in which Serbia was a republic too. They fought war against the Bosnia, Slovenia, Croatia, Kosovo. They wanted to exterminate, kill everybody. I have encountered exactly that kind of complexion. A Prince Charles, which observed that I am suffering from this kind of complexion, um, I'm not going to say trauma-related issue, whatever, continued this trauma on American continent, literally through American natives, and I probably already was in 96, not even in 97. I remember his words, I observed you have this and this and this and this. At the same time, whenever I was taken to Scandinavia, uh, I had this beautiful Scandinavian ladies, and that was the part of the brainwash. Make no mistake, it was all planned like this. And no problems whatsoever dealing with those people right there. Those people sympathized with me. They never gave me any kind of problem, but all this was a strategy. This beautiful woman, and as you're jucked up, the torture, all this stuff, it becomes a nuisance you don't want to even deal with. You know that being drugged up to be placed on drugs is illegal, it's a criminal, it's a matter of crime. You don't have to even put up with it if you don't want to. And because you don't want to and you have to, you start to develop prejudice against certain complexion. I believe that I did so. I started to finally understand a little bit more about myself. And so that's how it all started. And from there on, it went just, it just worsened and worsened and worsened. Who this American Indian, what this guy did, this is the wealthiest American Indian. He's got the casinos. I remember him that he went completely insane just by seeing me, just whenever they would brought me to area. He's not from Florida. In Florida, the Indians got casinos like this. All the Indians in Florida, down between Fort Lauderdale, Miami, in that Okeechobee area, that's the money they got through me, through this case. This is how American billionaires invested, they paid for the crime like this, they invested basically cash for crime, okay? You're gonna abuse, you're gonna do the stuff against the person, 
and you're going to get cash for it. All right, let me demonstrate to you what that, exactly how that looks like. I like this. I, li I really, really like it. I like this musician. Um, yeah, I know this is a little bit awkward, uh, but it actually it's really good because this, this, this is, this is as far as Here this come, guy yeah. art is. This is what this guy was doing to me, and I want to thank him for this stuff. Him, his friends, abuse, this, that, and then you get kicked here and there and so on. But this is this is what it is. And they get cash for this stuff. They buy, they promote. They give them special rights for certain songs that otherwise they wouldn't get. Let's say here, turn it up. This is from the movie. Um, Night Rider is the song and he couldn't get this but he got a special authority license for his song uh, lived through the British Royals he went through the British Royals he went to the British Royals and in return for violence they would give him uh, from in return for violence he would get the license to operate uh, imitate the song of Knight Rider. Basically, this is the way it goes. This is the way they did here. When it comes to Indians, they did about the same stuff, similar to that, and then they would build them casinos, give them land and stuff like this. Basically, the stuff that's rightfully theirs, it should be theirs. I will always be in support of American Indians because I like it. I think they're the only people that understand American nature, if nothing else. I like the idea, the plain idea that these are the people that, oh, they take me all over Alaska, all over Canada. Uh, but I think they're the people that, when it comes to Northern American nature, conservation-wise, that you folks, <laughs> sorry, uh, but you don't have a touch for the nature. You don't understand the nature, how complex the nature is. Uh, and it's exactly these memories they have preserved from their fathers, from their grandfathers. Uh, it's that special touch they have managed to preserve, I believe, should entitle them to be uh, a main uh, protectionist of American nature. They, they should be the one in charge. Uh, as far as the nature wise, they never liked me, George Bush the oil people, the business, they got everything in Slovenia, they got weapons through me. Um, if I said, they always, for the weapon purchases, promised money and stuff like this, just so they would go and say, he said yes, That that's the part they would keep. Uh, you would never see a dime. And in the US, I couldn't, I couldn't, no matter what, I couldn't agree on a nature, on fucking up nature. Uh, salmon, fishing and stuff like this, forests, I couldn't. Uh, and I was not exactly that perfect fit. Joe Biden resented me for not agreeing. Joe Biden knew about exactly about my issues, about sensitivity on a certain issues. And so these people always played me. They always played Indians and they played me like a magnet. You keep, you mess with, with, with these forces, with this, so that you keep apart an exact distance and you translate your news the way you want, want to be translated to these people. Never agree to any of that stuff. And if they did this stuff, this oil pileups, which they did, they should make damn and sure that there is no possibility whatsoever for the oil leaks and stuff like this. This con people from Texas, these Republicans, they did exactly the opposite. They deliberately went and they fucked uh, American 
uh, reservoirs where American natives are so that they would get them out of the area. This is the Donald Trump recipe. If you want to become wealthy, what you do is you have, a, you have a piece of land. He did this in Poland. I have to put this on yet. And it, it, was, it was a swamp. And he told the guy, buy the swamp. Buy, guy bought the swamp. But there were trees there, beautiful trees, all kinds of stuff like this that natives from around just are there to. They would walk dogs, children to the park there. Or regardless, it was private, but still people grew up there. They, families were raised around there. And once this guy bought this, he's wanted to become wealthy. He didn't give a shit about anybody. So what now? Damn it, these trees are there, this, that. Uh, people are not going to agree for you to build uh, a hotel or something like that. So what, what, what now? The fuck you doing now? You cut the trees down. You make sure that you you poison those trees, that they become fucked up. Then you tell community, look at them. They're no good. They're barely standing now. And bam, bam, bam. After 100 years, those trees are collapsed down, crashed, cut, chopped. First, what they do, they chop them in a such a way that it looks ugly. I have actually done a video on that stuff. So then the community alone is going to ask you, put the fucking trees away. And then when you put all that stuff away, there is nothing there, it's just a barren land. As well as mine, put the hotel on, fence the whole fucking thing, and that's it. This is, this is how they do it. They did it like this with absolutely everything in the U.S., with education with um, <clears throat> with prison system deprivatized through the people that they would get in and these people would engage in I'm not going to say in indecent acts but they would underperform at expense of the public taxpayer basically at expense of state till they would get they would compare this with a private corporation group and they would demonstrate how they can perform for way less, better service, something that otherwise they could never do. And, and actually, it's not even any more impartial. It's not neutral. Every private corporation is corrupt. Every private corporation is a subject to, uh, to the much, much greater than when it comes to state influence from outside because you have owners uh, in a government you have government officials which just as much they can be corrupt but it's a greater greater chance they're going to get caught and if they don't have especially if they don't have a proper base people who would cover them up and that makes more difficult for corruption because they're more traceable more detectable greater the chance the news comes to the public and crime is stopped but this is how it, this is how it's done in america okay so this is not against american natives i hope you understand i don't i don't i don't know what this guy what what how far they have gone this was like really bad but the fucking idea that they brought me to mongolia like in 98 99 tell me that 99, yeah, that they are running away because of me. I didn't thought about they have done something to me, which they did. I don't know what. I have to think, go walk back and forth and think about this so it's going to come to me. It fucking traumatized me until yesterday. In a real mind, when you hear something like this, the American Indians would have to run because of you. Jeez, I came to the United States when I was 23 years old, and the American Indians would have to run because of me. That's completely fucked up. That is maybe part of the worst thing I have. I'm not going to say heard in my lifetime, but this is this. This jock shocks, this Republicans and Democrats. Obama, Obama, Eric Holder, they were in this shit. This is fucking disgusting, filthy fucksy. 
We know that the Republican Party is corrupt. We know about what the Republican Party is. But Obama, according to his words, now I understand. Finally. The Democrat Party is just a political party that you participate in. It's the party designed for majority, but if you happen to get a stool, if you happen to get this chair, uh, you use one to cash. Yeah, apparently, this is what it is. This is what his socialism, communism in his head, this is how he interpretates this. Is. These people don't interpret social justice as justice. But rather than crime, they implement crime together with the Republican Party. It's all the same shit, to tell you the truth. That's why I'm not, uh, I'm really not enthusiastic about the United States of America, about all this. It's criminal. It's no good. As a country, as a people, you're no fucking good. I'll be honest with you. You're no good. And you're up to no good. Provenly up to no good. I hope that Kwana, uh, young people that uh, will take this as a warning Kwana. Kwana, mother was very beautiful. Mother was very beautiful. I was probably interested in her mom. Uh, then she got married. Yeah, this was a very long time on a picture. The family from Kwana. Man, it could have been that they were from 96, 97 already in this case. Very, very likely. She had but two sisters, I think. She has not one, but two sisters, I think. I think. I would say that she has two sisters. In Mongolia, still, she was a baby. She was a baby. Sure. One girl was about, like, I think, 16 years old, her sister at the time, in Mongolia, something like this. And another one was, I think, like... 14, maybe something like this, 13, maybe something like this, and then it was a baby. No, I'm definitely not doing this to hurt American natives. When I was a kid, when I was a child, next to this uh, magazines, books about American Indians, and you're talking about the mountains of this that I read, um, I always wonder the April year is the year for the customs, costumes. The children dress themselves and they go from house to house and they're asking for the candies. Um, they get candies, they get donuts, you know, that kind of stuff people give them. You know, they come, they dress them some nicely, ring, ring. You go downstairs and see these children, neighbors and so on. It used to be like this. Now it's not anymore. world changed a lot. But... I grew up like this, I would always dress myself in a, I had a whole costume for uh, American natives as an Indian. I dressed myself, I, I would have a, a headdress, one, two, three maybe. Um, and, uh, but then I like American cowboy boots and jeans uh, and I had pistols that you know produce the sound and of course bow and arrow but I had the whole dress from Indians and so on and so forth since kindergarten we played kids with this stuff up to I don't know what age yeah so that much about American natives heavily, heavily involved in this stuff too did not run from United States of America because of 
Sebastian, because of Bob, because of me. They ran because they ran from themselves. They did something to me, possibly because of me. Maybe if they scared them enough to run out of the country. Uh, but without, absolutely without giving me, talking about the government, American, U.S. government, ability, a chance uh, in real time, in real life, to stand up for myself and see what the fuck was done to me. They didn't want this shit. They just want the lie to get bigger and bigger and bigger. But this is American life, right? This is American ways of life, right? Live your life. So that's it. December the 25th, 2021. Thanks for watching this video. 1600 according to local novel master in Slovenia time.